Hello, Tube of Views. It is Saturday and I got plenty of stuff to do, but before I do any of that, I'm going to do a little bit of an upgrade before I leave the garage on the old E68. Um, so, as many of you have probably seen, I've got a got an old uh, got an old style. I don't even know what brand stereo in this thing, and I kind of like that. Uh, you know, just kind of keeps it kind of period correct like. Um, and two Fultron speakers on either side. Now these speakers, uh, as you might imagine, well, they're not, uh, they're not the best sound quality. And so what I'm going to try and do, since I like the look of those pods there, is I'm going to try to take this cover off and replace them with some speakers that I have got right over here. And I'm kind of kind of quasi-guesstimating on the uh, size. I measured out the cones and they were four inch. These actually look a little bit smaller, so I may end up not being able to do this today. But, uh, well, we're gonna give it a shot anyways. Um, so, without further ado, let's move forward. Shelby is just absolutely adamant she needs to go for a ride, which we will, all in good time. Um, she just got to learn to be patient. Puppies are not so good at that, you know. So, get the screws out, and at least we can see if we got the right speakers and see if we can do go any further with this. Shush, shush, shush. Yes, we'll go for a ride. Yes, we'll go for a ride. Crap, I lost one of the screws. So, there and there. And let's see if I'm even remotely close. Really wish I still had the factory grills for these Fultron speakers, speaker pods, I guess. But I do not, so I guess I will live. Um, been kind of scouring eBay a little bit and seeing if I could find one, but uh, or find a set, but I haven't found a set that uh, would fit the corners of the cab just like these do. So here we go. Let's hope. Let's hope. And uh, survey says, ah, we got a winner, winner chicken dinner. Cool. Okay. Well, so easy as this. We're just going to go ahead and screw this right in here, like a so, and I'll have to uh, affix a new end, dig out my electrical stuff and affix a new end to the, uh, the one terminal looks like. I got, a, I got a wider one right here than here, and this one has the two narrow ones. So let's uh, go ahead and screw this speaker in, fix that end, put some speakers in for some better tunage, and uh, get moving. Okay, I got my shrink tube terminal end here, spade terminal. We're just going to go ahead and cut that end off, pick that up in a minute. We will go ahead and Strip this. The big reason I wish I had the covers was I'd like to maintain kind of that that look, and it's not going to look quite the same with that Pioneer speaker in there. But you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers, and only have to deal with what I got to deal with. We're going to go ahead and fire up the torch here. Oop. There we go. We'll shrink this end on. Just like so. Okay, let's put that speaker in and uh, we'll go ahead and do the other one and see how this all comes out. Mm -hmm. 
Well, here we are. Get the uh, driver's side together. And last screw. And we have now given these old speaker pods a new lease on life. And I'd love to let you guys hear how they sound, but uh, obviously I can't do that because copyright stuff. So, no music for you. And uh, I realize this wasn't a particularly interesting video, but all the same, just uh, one of them things I wanted to show you. So, until another video, rate, comment, do all the YouTubery things. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in another video.